Yo, what's up? Yo, it's XL. This video is about women that sabotage relationships. Okay? Now, you know, and say things are going great. You meet her, everything's popping, you're on the same page. You know, first date went great, couple dates went good, the third date or whatever. Things are going good, right? No problems, no, you know, everything's smooth, right? So some, some women will sabotage a relationship. If it's going well, they will sabotage it. Why? A few reasons why. Now, guys, if you see a woman doing this and you're off to a good start with this woman, you get confused all of a sudden like, yo, why is she making things? Okay, you let things go. You start seeing who she really is because people can't pretend to be who they're not for 12 weeks, 90 days or more. You start, you start falling apart. Start seeing the little pieces fall apart. Wait a minute, little inconsistencies pop, start, pop, start showing up. And you're realizing, hey, so I got something else on my fucking hands here. <laughs> what is this? So, some of the indicators, I want you to notice if you have to, um, if you get in a situation like this, you need to notice there's some indicators that you need to maybe buyers beware, okay? If you're going to invest in someone like this, you may want to pull back a little bit, take a closer look, okay? Some of the things that they'll be doing, they'll, first of all, they'll, this is someone that, a woman that, um, let's say independent, for example, or a woman, I'll get into it, but these, these are the basic, okay? indicators and they're telltale signs any three of these you know look at her and would, would object you know look at her objectively to see if you you know she's doing to me things that's not making sense to you okay because a woman like this first of all she's afraid of change okay a woman that's going to self-sabotage she's going to see a change in relationships she's going to see a change in her routine okay that means just a compromise she's not going to want to do that okay women that self-sabotage all right they don't want to change they like things the way they are. I don't care if they're independent and they've been living in an apartment or a, a house or whatever. They've been doing it for a long term because they had to, you know, they were on their own. They had to make, the, make a living for themselves. They had to be, you know, boss up and, and run their shit and whatever. Fine. And then they meet somebody they like. You know, it's, it sounds good at first. They take you in. You start realizing, I don't want to change. So... They'll start doing these little, these little self-sabotaging things to get rid of you, to push you out another way, okay? They like you, yes, but they can't commit. That's the problem, all right? Next one would be freedom because doing that will jeopardize their freedom. They have to check in wherever they're going from now on. Oh, I'm going here. They don't, do they have to really do that? No, but women like this need stories to keep the belief going that they need to Put a, put a stop to this or put a check on a relationship, push it back a little bit. Their job's going to be to push it back so they're not too far deep in the relationship with somebody, even though it's going well, even though they enjoy themselves, even though it's a good time. There's no real problems here, okay? They need to create the space, okay? Another one, because it's control. They need control. Women don't want to give up control of relationships. They don't want to give up control of of as far as being a cohabitating with someone else, they don't want to give control. Having this listen to someone's opinion, okay? They can't run and call all the shots because it becomes a decision between two people. Not only that, there's many times she gotta to listen to somebody else. You know, but I think you should do this and that, you know, this and that, and that and that. And she goes, Okay. She may not want to change. She doesn't want to change, but she don't want control because she don't want to lose her freedom. Okay? So it's a stumbling block. It's like a snowball. It starts to build up. Okay. So all these little indicators kind of fall in line with her having to give something up. Okay. She may not want to do that. Okay. And that's 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 because a lot of times if they are long term, they've invested in themselves too much to share, and that's a big problem. So the next one would be because they're selfish. Selfish. They're selfish because they're not a fan of having to actually share their own living space. Because in their mind, oh, I got to give up half of my shit. Instead of seeing it, whereas I'm combining, I'm getting more, okay? I'm becoming one with someone. We're going to combine and share our things together. We're going to have more variety, more of, you know, everything, you know, happiness or whatever. But again, this is a person that's by herself. She'll date. That's fine because it's finite. Doesn't last. She likes that. Right? She wants long term, want to be married or whatever, but they do the self sabotaging shit when they have everything lined up. What they say they want and what they respond to, two different things, especially in this case. Right? So, move on. Why? Because it's fear. 
fear of intimacy. What does that mean? Fear of connection. Just have to choose to want to connect with somebody on an emotional level. Why? Because the women, it's harder to break. Okay. Once you get in that heart and in, and in their head, they know it's hard to break. Because she doesn't want that. Because now she has no control over the relationship. You have all control because you control how she thinks and what she feels. That's fearful for her. If she knows she can't last long term in a marathon. So when she wants to get married in the right headspace, it's a fucking dream for her. This is what she wanted, right? You want to get married, happy to be after, da 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 da. This is what she wants. But when you self sabotage, all that's null and void. Okay? Need to be my little safe corner here. Okay? But, you know, but so she will, she will have these behaviors to make sure she has spacing and buffer. Okay? Intimacy. So, there you go. She doesn't want that. Okay? She does or she doesn't. It's, and on top of that, why? Because of negative self talk. Okay? She feels like she doesn't, this is too good to be true. Something's going to happen. She doesn't deserve to be this happy. Now, that's something else going on. All right? I'm going to do with you. Okay? That's something else going on. Her negative self talk. And if a woman tells you, I'm bad at relationships, you know, I suck at them. You know, take that shit with the great, take that shit for granted and take the weight, take that shit with weight because if she's saying that, most guys take it lightly and go, ah, oh, it's all right, babe. You know, you, I'm, I'm going to change. The, you see what, you know, I'm here, you know, whatever. Now you met me or whatever. No, she's telling you, I suck at relationships. So she pre, she already predetermined that this is not going to work long term. Why? Because she doesn't want it to work long term. She's already telling you what's going to happen. You want to have fun, have fun with it, but know when you got to bounce. All right? Have fun, whatever, shake it down. So she wants anyway. And just don't be, don't, don't, don't let too many things fly because then you end up stuck with her. Now your emotions are involved and she's involved. Yeah, you fucking got this fucking roller coaster. She's up and down all the time. You don't know why. Okay? So don't do it. Next one will be because. You know, subconsciously, okay, she doesn't want to, she will feel as if this is going too good, right? But let me, ah, I know how it's going to go. This is not, let me dump him before he dumps me. Got it? And that happens a lot. And I'm telling you, I've experienced all these things from experience. I'm telling you, they do it. They do it. You think they don't do it, they do it. Okay, why? Because she's a fear, her fear is rejection. Okay, it all because rejection represents everything I just mentioned to her. It confirms everything I mentioned to you guys about her. It confirms that she doesn't deserve it. See, I know, look, I told you, look, see, so happens all the time, you know. So her mentality and her headspace, you know, is not in is not in the in the growth department. <laughs> Okay, it's, in a, it's an extracting negative department, the takeaway department. You don't want someone's taking away value. You want someone's going to add value. Her low self-esteem, her low her bad self-talk, all that stuff right there, it adds up to her being rejected. So before that happens, she'd rather get rid of you. I'm going to dump him before he dumps me. Okay, makes her feel better. Got it? Things are going great. All of a sudden, she just fucking, you know, hmm, that's why I showed him. And she knows... There's no reason for it, but she's gonna justify it. Again, this is this is a mental, this is a, this is on a brain housing group. Okay. So I suggest if you see these little things, some these small indicators, there's a lot more of them, but these right here are basic and they're common. These are the most common. They pop up all the time. All right. And if you if you resonate with this stuff, you hear it right now, you resonate with it, know what it is. All right. If you're gonna have fun, like I said, have fun. You understand? But she already predetermined how this is going to go and play out, okay? So trying to prove her wrong and all that is only temporary. You can do that for maybe you can do that three months. Oh, I got it, three months. Okay, it is working. Five months, a year, maybe two years, but it's going to come back to her truth. Got it? Because it not working out is her truth, okay? You can't change that, okay? This is a mental construct. You cannot change it. This has gone on long before. It's in a brain housing group long before, long before you came along. Okay, that's an imprint in a brain housing group that will not go away unless she decides she seeks help and puts massive effort into changing her mind state and her value system, which she feels she's valuing her worth. Okay, if she, if she don't like change, what does that tell you? 
He ain't controlled, bossed around, and she sees all these negative con con contribu contributions to being in a relationship that is, she's already predetermined all these factors. You got to knock down all these fucking walls. That's a lot of work. She's, it's, and it won't, that doesn't mean it's going to even last after seven years. She gets all this shit figured out. She's got to stay on top of it. Okay? More trouble than it's worth. Not worth this weight and salt or gold or anything else. Yo, like, subscribe, comment below. People signing in. We, we're reaching another milestone. I want to thank you guys. I'm already in that milestone. Looking for the next one now. Yo, like, subscribe, comment below. Share with your friends. Comments are down at the very, very bottom of this page. So, if you want to get down there and jump in there and put something in there, I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment below. XL, and I'm out.